guys welcome back so today I am kind of excited about this um we're going to be talking about the Walmart's favorites boxes here the beauty box that they have so I did this video last year if anyone saw that video if anyone remembers if not I will um, link it down below if you want to see it so last year Walmart had put out these boxes um, they have a few select different boxes and it's all different categories of um, either Walmart favorites or really just whatever their best sellers were but the boxes are called the Walmart favorite boxes this is different from their subscription box because if anyone doesn't know Walmart does have a five dollar subscription box that comes out seasonally uh, I also have a video doing that so I'll leave that link below if anybody wants to see what that's about and if I'm not mistaken, I should be getting another box pretty soon. Anywho, so they had several different boxes and I did take a picture. So I'm going to insert it now so you can see what that looks like. So they have several different boxes that they put out. I did not pick up every single box. Uh, every single box really wasn't calling to me uh i didn't really think that it was necessary to pick up every single one like there's a skincare one like i'm i'm very strict in my skincare regimen or at least i try to be um so i didn't really care to pick up that box too much and there was another one that was like mascaras and such last year they had one that actually included an eyeshadow palette which i actually still use it it's a cover girl one they didn't have any eyeshadow palettes they didn't even have um or like a quad or anything so I wasn't interested in picking that one up so I didn't get it anywho so the three I did get you know I did call my attention so first and foremost we have here is glow like a pro um this is what the inside looks like and I don't even think I mentioned it yet but each and every single box is $9.88 so basically, you know, about $10 a box. And if you think about any single one of these items being purchased by itself, it's already worth the price of the box. So this one, I was definitely interested to try the blush, to try the highlights. Hard candy, um, the matte one, I'm kind of laughing when I see it inside the glow like a pro box, but... Um, Hard Candy happens to be one of my favorite setting sprays, the Longwear Sheer Envy one. So they have the Matte Sheer Envy, so I wanted to try that one. Um, I wanted to try the Master Prime by Maybelline. The e.l.f. one, I actually already have the e.l.f. one here. So I'm probably going to set that aside um, for a future giveaway. Anyway, so moving along, we have this one which is called Latest in Lips. And this is what it looks like inside. So we have a Flower Beauty um, shade there. I freaking love that Flower Beauty formula. I've talked about it many times before. There's an Alme gloss in there. The um, Liquid Cat Suit. I freaking love the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit line. Neutrogena Hydro Boost and Hard Candy Max Pout Plumping Serum. And this Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch, which I've received in a subscription box before and I did test out. Not really for me, so again, another item that I'll be throwing in into a giveaway and probably the Katsu and the Hydro Boost because these are not really colors that call to me, but I did want to try that out. And again, if you think of the price of like the Flower Beauty um, lip all by itself, that alone is probably close to the cost of the box. Things like seven and change. So think about that one and last but not least this is the first time I've ever seen them do a box this big because last year they did not have any boxes this big but this is the pretty little extras and I thought this was great first of all I'm always talking about kiss nails this is the impress line that they have which has the little stickies already on the nails I freaking love these talk about them all the time non-stop so the price of one of these is again almost the price of the box the echo tools um blending sponge already have them it's one of my favorite sponges that i use all the time so that'll also be going in a giveaway a uh, motor tools brush the kiss lashes um blowout and paperboy one of my favorite styles so you already know i was excited to see that um this one is called coconut nail art stickers there's a nail file in there a nail polish uh what is this sets blot plus translucent powder single dose cosmetic compacts that's interesting 
okay and then a little mini duo lash glue so i love these sets if you've never tried one give it a shot it's a great way to find new products that you've either never used before and would like to try and a nice combination of them or it's a good way to kind of like restock things you already love but for a cheaper price because for 9.88 for the collection of things you're getting in these boxes even if you don't love every single thing it's still still highly worth the price so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my face today using some of the products from here obviously I can't use every single thing but I'll use what I can so I have a uh, clean fresh face I haven't even put uh, moisturizer or anything because I want to just start off as bare faced as possible so I'm gonna start off with the um, master prime face studio primer base I don't usually use primers Primers don't ever really seem to do anything for me, but it never hurts to give it another try. So I'm going to start off with that and then we're going to move on and see how things go. So let me just crack this sucker open. Okay, so we're starting off with the Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base. It says Hydrate and Smooth. <laughs> never fails. I'm always dropping something. So I am actually going to put it on one side of my face. That way we can compare it and see if I feel like there's any actual difference to anything. So small lines here. I'm just going to use tapping motions to press it into the skin. Alright, so I'm going to use a couple other things out of this box, but not until later on in the routine. So for now, I'm going to set this aside and... I am going to, all right, so like I said, I'm saving the Echo Tools sponge to give away um, in a giveaway box I'm going to put together, but I'm going to pull out the Moda Pro brush, and I'm going to see how that works. Is it a blush brush? Foundation brush? What is that? That is Moda Pro buffer brush uh, to buff cream or liquid foundation and bronzer for a flawless finish. All right, so I'm going to pull that out of the box, and I'm going to use that to apply my foundation. This actually feels pretty nice. It is a soft brush. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's get the. I don't know. If this is a result of the primer that's on this side of my face but I feel like hmm, anywhere I don't have primer it actually blends it in really nicely but only in this area right here where I do have the primer am I not feeling like that looks the greatest it actually looks more textured than it ever does without any primer or anything so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go put some on this side of my face and see how that buffs out. And then we'll see. Okay, so I might try this again, not today because now it has foundation on it. But I might try this another day as the bronzer brush instead. I'm not loving it as a foundation brush. Um... And I really don't feel like I'm loving that primer right now because I feel like the primer side actually ended up looking more textured than me not having anything. I don't usually have these kind of issues. Um, I feel like all um, the other brushes that I use to do my foundation look way better, which I have two different Luxie brushes that I use and one Wet n Wild brush and they all look great when I use them as foundation brushes. This one, not so much. So we'll give it another shot. I'm sure I can find something else to use it for. The brush is really soft and it feels good. It's just not doing the best job on my foundation. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation, which I've used plenty of times. So I knew that it's definitely not that. But anywho, there are really no other products to use on my face at this stage. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish my eyes and my brows and everything else. And then we'll come back to do blush and highlight and all that stuff together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did something really quick on the eyes. I did my bronzer and I kept the eyes really light so that when we put on the lashes, you can see what they look like. Um... 
You know, it's funny for something I did really quick. I actually like these eyes a lot as like a nice little soft Valentine's Day look. Dang, I wish I had filmed it. Anywho, so let's keep moving along. So next up, I'm going to try the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. This color, from the second that I saw it, I thought it looked really, really nice. Like I said, right up my alley in the uh, range of colors that I go for when looking for blush for the blushes. So let's just swirl that baby in there really quick. Yeah, that looks so pretty to me. It adds a little something to the face without being overpowering. Like it's not just, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, you know, times that I actually feel like I want to go a little stronger with the blush. But for the most part, especially for a daily thing, I tend to just like something a lot more subtle, a lot softer that just kind of hints at a little color on the cheeks. And especially the neutral ones that can really with just about any look you have going on there dang this is gorgeous i can't believe i've never picked up this color on my own before hello all right so next up is another milani product and this is the strobe light um instant glow powder in afterglow this looks so pretty this is a very nice like champagne -y looking color even though it's actually coming off more gold on camera or is it just the screen i don't know but this is, oh god, I love it when they feel creamy like that even though they're powders. So that's what that is looking. Woo! Shoo. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Okay, um, where is my favorite sist highlight brush? Okay, all right, uh, we'll just use this other one here. Not what I usually use, but whatever. Tap that in lightly. And then let's just kind of go in here. Ooh. Oh, I actually like the way that looks. Now, this one picks up just a little more texture than what I'm used to from a couple of my other highlighters, but it is still a really pretty color, and probably once we get this down with some setting spray, it'll melt in a little better, but this is still very, very pretty. If you use a really soft tan with it, you can get a soft hint of a glow. And then if you build that sucker up, you can actually get a much stronger glow from it. So I like that. I like anything that gives me a little bit more control and kind of lets me build it up to how I want. That's not just instantly overpowering where you can, you know, oops real quick. Because it's always easy to add more when you need it and it's a little bit harder to take it away. So at least it's more of a pain. Okay, so now as far as lashes go, when I tell you that Kiss Brand Lashes are my favorite in case you've never seen any of my videos. Actually, here go Page Boys right here, falling out because these I've already used. Um, Kiss Brand, absolutely my favorite brand when it comes to lashes ever. And those are the same ones that actually come in here, as you can see right there, Page Boy. So since those are already used and looking kind of janky, I'm actually just going to pull these fresh ones out and apply these so you can actually see them on. And I'm actually going to use the little mini duo glue that comes in here too because I cannot seem to find my duo glue at the moment. So I am going to quickly pop these bad boys on and come back and show you what they look like. I am not even going to tell you guys <laughs> how long that just took to get these lashes on today. You ever have those good and bad days? Like some days you can just pop some lashes on in a second and then some days they take forever. And then after I finally got the lashes to cooperate, I realized I forgot to trim them. Yeah, these are some of the larger lashes that I usually have to trim and I totally forgot. So, anywho, <laughs> now it's time for lips. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start off here with the Hard Candy Max Pout Plumping Serum. So, let's get this sucker open. Is there a tint to this? Super Volumizing Lip Gloss. No, so I mean it is called a lip gloss, so I suppose if you wanted to, yeah, it's definitely clear. Oh, it smells. It smells. It smells very cinnamony. 
And what else? There's something else. Hmm. a gloss it's pretty cute not the shiniest gloss ever but it adds a little something something so not bad mm, there is a cooling sensation on the lips not the most plumping I mean, I've definitely felt a lot stronger plumping serums especially one from Too Faced was it was it Too Faced I think I ended up giving it away to my sister that sucker was strong but this one gives me more of like a little tingly, little um, cooling sensation. Uh, I'm not really seeing any plumping action going on. So I'm going to give this about a good minute to do whatever it is it's going to do. And then we'll come back and see what lip color I'm going to end up applying. So just take one last look at my luscious lips the way they are. <laughs> and then uh, we'll be back in about a minute and see what happens here. Okay, so here is what my lips look like now. Hmm. Um, I'm not necessarily sure that I feel exactly like we got any plumping action. I do, however, kind of feel like um, whatever ingredients are in here kind of added um, more of a rosy tone to my lips. Like it kind of brought more color to my lips which in turn kind of make them look a little fuller if that makes sense but i mean it looks nice again i would wear this as a plain gloss by itself that looks nice but anyway, i'm not gonna ramble about that this i think would be more of a uh either lip topper if i want to make something matte and make it glossy or again if i just want to wear it alone as a gloss it adds a little something something not super plumping or anything special but you know not that to have in the box. Okay, so now, uh, let's, um, because I already tried the Flower Beauty, um, liquid, uh, liquid lip before, I want to give this Burt's Bees one a try. The color looks really nice, and I've never tried any of the Burt's Bees liquid lips before, so I'm definitely interested to see what this is. This one is called Tidal Taupe. And that's the, what that looks like right there. There's an interesting smell to it. It's reminding me of something, but I can't pinpoint it. God, what is that smell reminding me of? Ugh, I can't hate and I can't. It's weird. Is it giving me almost like Play Doh vibes right now? Hmm. Oh no, this is, I like this. It's a very nice neutral color. The formula is really, really comfortable. I think this is gorgeous. I love the color, a nice neutral color. It's soft. You can always apply a lip liner under if you kind of want to punch it up a bit or add a little more like definition to it and more like lip contouring. But alone, that is so pretty. I like that one so much. Wow. Okay, um, as for all the other products that are left in here, I'm going to throw them all into a giveaway box, all of them. Um, I have a lot of glitters that I like. This one has more of a pinky tint to it, which is really not up my alley. And um, aside from the um, Flower Beauty one, which I do like that color, I already have two similar colors. And the rest of them are way too pinky for me. And I just know myself, pink is just not really going to do it for me. So I don't want to open them all and then have them just sitting here collecting dust. So I would much rather just put it into a giveaway box that I am curating. Um, once I have all the items together that I want to put into the giveaway box, then I will be doing a giveaway announcement video. So there's that. And then oh, here is what's left in the um the extras box oh god i'm trying to blind you guys there we go so we have the echo tool sponge we have these single dose cosmetic blotting compacts um i don't really tend to set my face or use powders much so i'm gonna include those um 
Okay, so except for the nail file, which I do use nail files a lot, so I'm going to be keeping that for myself. The nail products, the nail polish, the Echo Tool sponge, and the blotting compacts, this is all going to go in the giveaway box as well. Um, again, I know I love the Echo Tools. I have a lot of similar nail polishes to that one. I know I love the Impress nails, so why not give someone else the chance to try them out as well? Um, the nail art stickers in here are pretty cool. Cool, but again I am more of a fan of using the um, the press on nails from kiss so I know I wouldn't use those and last but not least let's get this face set here so oh you know what I just I am like super curious about this um, dust glow body luminizer from hard candy so let's see I'm just going to pump some of it out onto the back of my hand yeah okay of course of course you pick and pump a thousand times and then it suddenly just pops out at you okay uh so here we go i doubt you're supposed to put this much in one concentrated area like this but uh let's get that shirt up there let's see what we can do here so it says it's a body luminizer so i'm guessing you would just use it more in the areas where you want a sunlit glow going on there um so actually isn't bad yeah once you get it uh smoothed out so it's not so thick and like gold looking once you get it all smoothed out it actually is pretty nice there's a nice little feeling going on that leaves you like not oily uh, greasy feeling so hopefully that will absorb more but that definitely uh gives you a nice little glow there that'd be interesting to try out in the summertime um so let's set that aside and now let's move on to the very last thing we need to try out here which are these setting sprays so we're gonna go for the hard candy uh matte sheer envy mattifying 12 hour, mattifying and minimizes pores 12 hour hydration spray so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna spray this one on the side of my face where I did not use a primer and I also want to compare this to the found brand one which is actually that one's supposed to be I hate when you're unwrapping these things and you get that freaking stupid plastic stuck to you okay so we're gonna give this a good shake here and I need something to separate the sides of my face from one another all right, uh, this oops, <laughs> this will work. Okay, why why am I shaking this? Okay, here we go. So I'll put this here and then get the holy ah, uh, dang, that <laughs> that pump just saturates your whole face. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's just. about metafit <laughs> it's things <laughs> oh it is making <laughs> I got it dead in my eye <laughs> oh jeez that is that is making my mascara run <laughs> Talk that up to use it error and <laughs> we're not ah things <laughs> we're not gonna blame we spray for that oh lord all right give me a second to finish fanning this down and then i'm gonna come back and do the other one okay <laughs> i tried i tried to fix it <clears throat> but anywho so Whew. all right matte side is dried down so now we have the found stardust illuminating makeup setting spray so let's see how that goes on this side i'll tell you one thing though see just like i mentioned before about the highlight like once you hit it with a setting spray it definitely helped melt it right in and now it just looks super gorgeous and none of that real texture thing going on so glad to be right about that okay now let's see if i can do this without halfway drowning myself first of all let's test the settings okay all right so let's get this bad boy going on this side and
Um, all right, so yeah, that kind of gives you some like big splotches there. <laughs> Whereas the hard candy one, even though like I <laughs> like that saturated the hell out of my whole side of my face, it didn't give me random big splotches where this one kind of does. But let's let it dry down and see what the overall effect of that is. Which it's actually not taking me too long to dry down anyway. So it dries fast. Um, unfortunately, I can actually see those splotches that got there drying into place. So I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. But if you were up close on my face, you would actually see the splotches that's, that came out the hardest. And where they actually dried up on my face and it actually looks like wherever they splotched they actually picked up some of the makeup which no so I'm not a fan of this found beauty stardust thing so that's definitely just not anything I would recommend however the matte sheer and resetting spray says mattifying controls oil minimizes pores um as usual I don't know about the whole more pore minimizing thing but I never really hey shh, <laughs> but I never really put too much stock in that because for me at least I've yet to find anything that really works on the pores uh, however overall as a setting spray that's really really good it does dry down to a point where your face isn't tacky it feels really nice it looks really good it still helps to melt everything together really nicely uh, as long as you're aware that that is a powerful spray pump and that is going to saturate your face I would definitely hold it further than the 8 to 10 inches that you would usually hold your sprays but that did a fantastic job i really like the way that that looks overall here we are we're at the end of the video finally i forgot that there was <laughs> this on my arm <laughs> Uh, so we are finally at the end of the video here if you get a chance to go out to your local Walmart they also offer them online and look for the Walmart fa uh, favorites boxes you will not be disappointed I don't think so first of all you get to see what's in them so it's not even like a surprise it's not even like a mystery box you get to see what's in them you get to know if it's things that you would like to try or not and quite frankly look at any one item in any of the boxes and consider the fact that that one item could possibly be like you know six seven or eight bucks it's for a box you're getting for 988 and that one item would be worth the entire box especially for all the great products and brands that you get to try out and who knows you might just end up finding a few favorites so if you have any specific questions about any of the products that I mentioned or any of the products that were shown that I didn't even get to use please leave them down below I'll be more than happy to answer them for you if you haven't already please comment rate subscribe and hit that notification bell you all have an amazing rest of the weekend wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video bye